This is a little bit too big to play pool with, but one of the things that hold people back from uh, playing to the best of their potential is the strength and power in their stroke. You know, playing pool, you don't need to be like a weightlifter, but you do need a, a synchronized speed at the moment of impact. And, and really, that's a lot about tempo. I have another video on my YouTube channel showing you how to create perfect tempo using a metronome. But today, I'm going to show you how to develop power in your stroke. And within three weeks, if you do these exercises, I will assure you, you will develop a more powerful stroke. And the more you do it, the better, better you'll get. But because a pool cue isn't very heavy, you know, they're usually 19 or 20 ounces, it's not heavy enough to really develop that power. So you could practice three hours a day for the rest of your life and not develop that much more power. Now you will improve other things, which uh, are important too. But what these exercises are designed to do is give you the strength that you need in your hands to develop a power cons powerful, consistent stroke. Because like when I ask Earl Strickland, who's got one of the most powerful strokes in pool, what is your secret? He looked at me and said, it's all in the hands, CJ. It's all in the hands. And he's right. The hands, fingers, wrists, just like throwing a ball or throwing a spear or anything else, it's right at the moment of release, and in this case, right at the moment of impact, that your wrists and hands need to be synchronized to create that speed right at the moment of uh, contact, and then it's easy to move the cue ball around effortlessly. Okay, the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to show you uh, just a simple exercise. The, the grip is made by putting the V of this hand, this V, on top of the cue so that when you do your uh, practice strokes like this, I always put it in front of me and I have that V right on top. I synchronize the V with the top of this tip, okay? So the first exercise we're going to do is this is going to be the line of the shot. You put your right foot, you see how these sticks are crossed right here? You put the right foot right on the line of the shot, but you turn it. So this ankle bone is on the line of the shot for most people. You put your left foot, this will be in front of this right toe, about two inches in this case. And then I'm going to step out about 12 inches this way, push my hips back, and put the V on top of... Uh, of this uh, staff. By the way, you get these at Home Depot. They're either uh, two and a quarter or uh, two and a half inches in diameter. I'd recommend the smaller one. This is the bigger one, but uh, I'd start out with the smaller one. They're only uh, probably about $25 at, at Home Depot. So what you do is you push your hips back, put the cue right down on that line, because when you push your hips back, that's what puts the cue on the line. Remember, the hands, the uh, fingers, and the wrist are the power sources here. So you want to bring it back and return right to where it started from. And you notice that's right in front of my hip, not behind it, in front of it. And you'll see that your wrist is working like this. When it goes back, your hand opens a little bit, and then it closes, or you have a little bit of a wrist flick. But that's what's happening. See, right that position right there is where I'm at here. And then when I go through, it's here. So if you were like casting a uh, fishing lure, it would be like you bring the, the pole back here and just release it right back to where it started from, just like this. So that's what you're, the stroke you're going to use on most of your shots. So I'd recommend doing this like 10 or 20 times. I'll generally do this one like 50, but work your way up to it because uh, it doesn't matter how many you do to start with. What's important is you do it every day. and Maybe just increase one every day. The next one that I'm going to have you do, see the thumb should never control the uh, stroke. You never want to put the thumb on top of the cue. But in this case, these muscles are still important to exercise because like I said, your wrist is going to cock and release. Put your V on top and just let this come back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. I'd recommend doing this like 10 times. I usually do both. I'll do the left hand and right hand. I want to develop strength in this in this uh, left hand too for bridging. You don't want to have a weak bridge. So I usually do whatever I do on the right side, I do on the left side. Okay? So the next one we're going to do 
we're going to develop a little bit more strength. We're going to put it in front of us and just roll it. And again, just make it easy on yourself. Maybe do this 10 times or 20 times and then just increase it one every day. You know, develop a three week plan to, uh, to improve this stroking power. Okay. Now, one thing that's important when you're doing these exercises is, uh, especially when you're done, you want to you shake your hands like you're trying to shake water off of them or something and get the blood flowing. Because if you leave that blood in your uh, muscles, like in your hands and wrists, they'll get stiff. So you want to do that. Another good thing to do is to stretch your hands a little bit. And the way you do that is just put this on your bicep put your hand over on the other uh, tricep and then just pull. And you can see that I'm stretching that, stretching that uh, wrist. And then I put it here and do the same thing, stretch it and then do the same thing over here. So that should be done at the end of, of your exercises because uh, like I said, it'll keep you from getting stiff, but uh, do those exercises. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you one more that I would recommend is just to stand with your left foot in front of your right foot. When you're playing pool, it's best to always be in this position when you're looking at shots, because that puts you in a position when you get down and you push your hips back, your hip will clear. You'll be able to go right down on the ball easily. I generally go from here and step to the side or step up a little bit. And when I do, I just push my hips back and go right down on the ball. So put your left foot in front of the, the left heel in front of this right toe. And then just put your hand hands out in front of you, and then you're just going to do this type of a motion like this. Now, after you do that a few times, this is this is to develop quickness. See, see where I'm going to put my hand like in the center of the staff, and then when I when I stroke it through, I'm going to let it release. You see how it's my hands going farther and farther down. You could time it to where you could do ten of them to get to the end. So you'd start here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm at the end. That develops a lot of quickness and all you're doing is bring your hand back and returning it right where it started from and letting that thing release it's like you're throwing it out. That develops power and speed and accuracy. And to be a great pool player, you have to have all three of those components. And then your fundamentals are really good. You can see all my teachings at www.cjwiley.com. And uh, practice this. And in about three weeks, I'm going to put out a more advanced uh, level training. But start out with this. Work your way up to it. And I guarantee in three weeks, you'll have a more powerful stroke too. This is CJ. See you next time.